Okay, it's Sunday and it's uh, church is over and usually um, later in the day there'll be a lot more vendors and it'll be a lot more busy but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what um, what things look like on my street when I go walking along. You can already see different food vendors with chicken. The ladies along the side a little while ago, that's a massage parlor. There are lots of them. They sit out front calling out to you and asking you if you don't want to stop and get a massage. There's a noodle cart where you can get fresh made noodles. One of the highlights of Bangkok life. This is uh, meat on a stick. Best probably not to ask what kind. A tailor shop with some t-shirts and things out front. Like I said, um, it's very, very early in the day. Usually later in the evening, this is wall-to-wall -wall people. They are everywhere. And you have to wait your turn practically to get squeezed in between people and walk down the street through some ladies' clutches and what have you. If you need a belt or shoes, or mom's purse to stand. Here are some shoes that I'm sure Gabby would enjoy. Here's a roadside restaurant. You'll notice that there is no front door. Um, there's no front wall, in fact. Another store for mom. Here are some of her elephant style purses that she loves so much. And if you need some shorts or perhaps you'd like some ladies lingerie. Getting a pretty good look at what things look like. This uh, by the way is Tanan Peppery or Peppery Road, and this is what it's pretty much always like, but lots and lots more people, and there will be lots and lots more people later in the day. There's a fruit vendor, fresh fruit is always available all the time in Bangkok, and it's delicious and it's quite cheap. Leather goods. All kinds. That was fried tofu. I don't think you saw it. I'll probably show it on the get on the way back through. These folks are waiting for the bus. This is a bus stop. Across the street, you can see a very tall building. That is Pantip Plaza, which is uh, a place to get cheap um, electronic goods, computers and TVs and things, and it's extremely popular with the Thai people. And so they tend to have a lot of food vendors near these folks stop to get something on their way out of vendor shops. I'm going to turn around. You can see we're coming up uh, on another soy or side street, so this seems like a pretty good place to turn around and um, back in the other direction. See a see a monk coming, and I'm not particularly familiar with which type that would be. The one in the orange we just walked past is a 
typical Thai Buddhist monk. The red robes would indicate that that particular monk is not from Thailand. They're selling lottery tickets. Here, the yellow stuff is jackfruit. I love jackfruit. And fresh coconut. And chicken that will be used in various and sundry dishes inside there. Lots of sweets available. And Roadside restaurant. There's the fried tofu. Silk available or partially silk anyway. I can't tell you how good fresh pineapple is here. These little tea stands are located everywhere. There. Um, <laughs> the guy behind was trying to get me to go with him on the tuk-tuk. said 50 baht for one hour. As I started to walk away, he said 20 baht. Now, that's ridiculously cheap. And the reason is because once you get in the thing, He's going to try to take you shopping to some places where he gets a commission on everybody that he brings over. Um, not particularly wanting to do that, so I'll pass. Very lucky today. It is very overcast. There's your roadside restaurant again, glass figurines, and the fact that it is overcast means that it is much, much cooler than a normal day here. Um, I'll show you where I live very quickly since we're going to keep this on all the way. You can see that there are two large buildings in the background. One of them is a lighter yellow and it's in front then behind it is a somewhat um, I guess paler yellow building that's sticking out there are in fact two buildings there um, that condo makes up uh, it's a two building deal very very large it has a front building tower A and a rear building tower B I live in the rear building tower B which you can't see because of the one in front of it uh, but that's where I'm headed back home. <clears throat> I'm only going to keep the camera on for just a little bit longer because I will be stopping at 7-Eleven to pick up a few items. Some bread and things. bags. Here's meat on a stick. You can see that there is a dish coated in salt and roasted. Actually far better than it sounds. Again the noodle stand and I will stop when we get to 7-Eleven and go inside. So that's kind of your little tour. Hope you enjoy.